Welcome guys, thank you for watching this video, but before we proceed, do not forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, share it to all of your friends, and also check out the description for further information guys. And now, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so welcome to today's mini tutorial, and today I will show you how to prevent multiple boats from spawning by the same player inside or within this boat spawner I have, yeah, created it months ago, okay? So, the first thing you want to do is to import the model, so my most recent boat spawner model right here. And to set it up correctly, so that's the correct way to set it up. Do not leave the folders inside of the categories, but the content, the children of that folder, okay? That's the first thing. Now to the second thing. Let's go inside of the stock, and then open up this dummy. And then go inside of Humanoid Root Port, click Detector, and then Script. And as you can see, that's a script. So, leave these things because, or leave that thing because um, that's not important to us. And right here, so this is the port where the boat is actually being spawned. And we now need to think of a way to make the script remember that there is a boat spawned. So how can we do that? I thought about creating an instance, an int value to be exact, inside of the player itself. And every time when a player tries to spawn a boat, the script somewhere around here checks for that int value and checks if it is there and if it's there then it will probably prevent spawning or it will delete the um, boat which which is currently spawned and will just create a new one okay but let's let's um, work on creating that int value so local x instance.new so i'm basically setting up a new variable which holds a new instance and um, the first argument of instance.new is the class name of the instance we want to create, which is an int value. And a second argument is the place where this, in, where this newly created instance is being spawned into or parented to. So where it, is, where it is located, okay? Which is our player. Let's call this one um, spawned a boat. And that's actually it. So this is our... Yeah, marker, I'd say. So this um, makes the script notice later on that the player has a boat currently spawned. We can now easily up here check for that. So if boat nearby is false and player find first child spawned a boat, then so it basically, well, and not, so it basically does not want any boat spawned. And if that's the case, then the player is able to spawn a boat. So let's check this out. Let's see if this does work. So also do not worry when uh, your mouse does not change when hovering over this dummy's torso. You can still click on it, but it does not change your mouse or anything. So th there we go. The int value is being created, and now let's... Okay. There is a boat nearby. Okay. There we go. We are not able to spawn another boat, but if I would delete this one... Wait, let me delete it um, per server because that's the actual way to delete, to delete it. Okay, now as you can see, I'm able to spawn again. I'm probably not able to, to uh, spawn another one. Okay, but you guys have seen that I, I wasn't able to spawn a boat. So I could possibly end the video right here, but I'm going to script another case. So... Um, let me delete this one right here and add another line so if not player spawned a boat
Okay. So this is our usual case. So if there is no spawn boat, then the script will just proceed as usual. And now the second case, so if there is a spawn boat, then we want to yeah, delete that one. And now yeah, we got to find out uh what kind of boat our player has spawned or which boat belongs to our player. So how do we do that? Now that's actually a bit more difficult, I think. Let me create another instance. So X2 instance.new and this time an, an object value instead of the player again. And we are going to call this one boat. And this one is going to contain the boat as a value. So what an object value does is it stores an object. And we now can later on just refer to our boat by referring to this object values value. So that was my idea, but uh, I'm not sure if this will work out as expected, but we'll see. So let's copy this one. Player find was child spawned a boat. This time, boat. Value. Destroy. And also, let's destroy this one. And let's spawn a new one. All right, there we go. So there are probably better ways to um, express what I was trying to do right here. In, uh, yeah, less or in fewer lines. But we will just see if this works out as expected, first of all. So there we go. Okay, it refers to our boat. All right, there we go. There we go. It does work. Okay. And if you now think about it, so since we have this object value right here, this one becomes pretty unnecessary. Therefore, we can just do the following. So we can remove these checks and keep it like this. But still delete the boat, which is, in, which is stored inside of this uh, object value. So boat value destroy. So we can still do that. And let's see if this works. So this should work out now. And... Um, yeah, should uh, completely dealt with the topic I wanted to uh, do in this video, which I have introduced in this video. So attempt to index nil with value. Yeah, okay. If, yeah, so um, of course, this both value does not exist from the beginning. Therefore, we need to check for that, but it's not a big deal, so yeah. Pretty easy to take care about. And there we go. So we have created this object value right here. Now let me drive this one a little bit more far away. Come on. Okay, there we go. And now this one should be deleted. There we go. Okay, so there, there were two boat values. You, of course, need to delete the old one after deleting its value. And that's it. So that's it with this video. Now let me test this out another time. So um, just to prove it to you guys so that no one comments that uh, this did not work out you did not show the ending etc so let me prove it for last time now 
All right, let's drive this one away. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so we still have our object value and now we have a new object value and a new boat. And now let me do it for the second time just to yeah clearly extrude any more yeah any more issues wait <laughs> did i just, did i just say extrude <laughs> um yeah <laughs> all right all right never mind that guys i'm <laughs> i'm not feeling that well <laughs> but <laughs> you know you know what i was trying to say so um as you can see there are no issues we have we have uh did what we wanted to do uh yeah so that's it with this video guys i'm gonna set this model up or never mind i'm i'm, I'm, I'm. guys guys i'm currently talking too much trash okay never mind that i'm sorry for that and yeah <laughs> Thank you for your support. Leave a like, subscribe, share this video to all of your friends. Give me feedback in the comment section, guys. And uh, give me ideas for the next mini tutorial episodes, guys. Also, uh, yeah, take care of yourself and see you in the next video.